What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Lord Master Wilson is here with another awesome video. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> so in today's video, guys, I want to let you know that for my birthday, I got this book. It's called WWE's Greatest Rivalries, and I'm gonna be reading the first uh, rivalry, I guess you said. So let's get started. Let's flip to the book. So this is from the classic era we're going to start off. My dogs are being so annoying! So guys, the first rivalry from the classic era is Bruno San Martino versus superstar Billy Graham. So I'm going to read basically like, you know, the intro and then we're going to go through all the details. All right. So Bruno San Martino grew up in a poor, tough Italian neighborhood and fought his way to the WWE Championship with hard work and quiet dignity. <sighs> Superstar Billy Graham was a loud, flashy showman who embodied the counterculture of the 1970s. The two men couldn't have been more different, and that's what made their rivalry so compelling. They battled each other countless times in the 1970s, the Clash is becoming the stuff of sports entertainment legend. <sighs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Alright. Number one. The first match. Boston, November 29th, 1975. As a newcomer to WWE, superstar Billy Graham had a lot to prove. He knew he would have to beat the best to show the world that his nickname was justified. Graham faced WWE Champion Bruno San Martino for the first time in Boston, Massachusetts legendary arena, the Boston Garden. Losing the match, but gaining a fierce desire to meet Bruno again. <sighs> Number two, a takedown in Texas. <sighs> Pittsburgh, April 9th. 1976. For months, San Martino and Graham battled for the WWE Championship without a conclusive winner. Their matches ending in draws, countouts, or, disqualif or disqualifications. Sounds like WWE has changed a lot since then. The superstars then battled, battled in a Texas death match with just one rule. The winner must pin his opponent for a 10 count. Using chairs and other objects, Bruno pinned Graham for the count and took the victory. Number 3. Third Time Lucky. Baltimore, April 30th, 1977. Gr Billy Graham got another chance to win the WWE Championship from San Martino, and he was determined to make a count in any way he could. The back and forth about looked like it could go either way until Graham seized his chance, illegally using the ropes to strengthen his pin and defeating San Martino to win the title. San Martino's second title reign ended his 4,040 cumulative days as champion. <sighs> Damn, that's a, that's a long time to be champion for. <laughs> Number 4. Two Champs Down. Madison Square Garden, August 1st. 1977. Several months after losing the title, San Martino got his rematch against Graham. With each superstar desperate to win, things quickly turned vicious and they both were too injured to continue. Special referee and future WWE Hall of Famer, Gor Gorilla Monsoon, stopped the match, calling it a draw. Seriously, WWE has not changed a bit since the 70s. And finally, number five, a lucky escape. Philadelphia, February 18th, 1978. In one of the final matches between the longtime adversaries, Bruno Sammartino and superstar Billy Graham were locked inside a steel cage. A win could only be gained by escaping the cage. As in their previous co confrontations, the hits were hard and the holds were tight. Graham won the match by a stroke of fortune when Graham set when Graham was sent hurtling through the cage, through the cage door, by a misguided kick from San Martino. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end 
of a rivalry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what did you think? Did you ever watch one of their matches? Let me know everything your opinion about your opinions in the comments. Let me know what your favorite rivalry of all time is in terms of uh, WWE. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like button. Please subscribe to follow me on my social medias. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.